These are refugees? These are the refugees who come from, uh, from Mangino. Je suis, je suis un enseignant de, de Mandouri. J'ai participé, j'ai vu les cadavres qu'on a que Nalu a tués. Premier tour en Mandouri, c'est au moins 38 cadavres qu'on a enterrés sous mes yeux. À, 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 à mon coup, ça c'est déjà 46. Bon, et même hier, on est entré, on a, on a atterri hier. Vraiment, c est, c est, ces gens existent, ils sont en train de, de nous tuer sous nos yeux. Tout de suite, là, ils sont en train de, de progresser vers la province orientale. Ils sont en train de massacrer. Beni, the city of rumors. Not a day goes by without talking about the last massacre in a row. Citizens, journalists, soldiers are buzzing about it. Very little is known officially. The name and number of paramilitary groups could make our heads spin. Anyway, names are less important. They tell us about the system, about rupture and chaos. Islamists are approaching the city and the situation is becoming increasingly tense. Refugees arrive in Beni every day. Sometimes it's just two families, but often columns clog the road. People are confused and scared. Jean-Pierre, a teacher from Malouba, is just one of the many who have sought refuge in the city. Tout de suite là. Nous sommes à Béni, il n'y a pas d'assistance. Nous sommes en train de passer les nuits en plein air, en... sans assistance. Les gens sont en train, déjà des enfants sont, sont perdus dans les forêts, pendant les fuites. Tout de suite là, nous, nous avons besoin d'une assistance humanitaire. Les gens n'ont pas d'habits, n'ont pas à manger, manquent ou dormir, tel que vous me voyez devant, de, 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 tel que je suis tout de suite, je suis assis sur le matelas déjà déchiré, là où j'ai passé en pleine étoile, vraiment. On the outskirts of the city is a small makeshift orphanage. I visited it three years ago, but it was since moved because of the attack. The founder and head of the orphanage is Mrs. Kavira. She herself, she says, had no children, and that is her contribution. In four houses made of shrubs and mud, there are bedrooms, a kitchen and a wardrobe. Agronomist and volunteer Maganda visits the orphanage every day. We changed the place for the orphanage because of the massacre of IDF uh, who came one day to want to pick all of children and to go with, with the children at the forest and to, keep, to become uh, uh, soldiers and to ground at the forest and to become uh, soldiers. Uh, we have more of these children are the children of massacres. Of massacres. We have some children who are lost in the forest. We have some children who don't know a parents, a relative, a relatives. He's here. I'm a volunteer. I begin this volunteer to help orphans and I take some persons 
to to help us to be a volunteers to come and help to manage uh, to cook something uh, to go in the market to ask one uh, one friends one friend one dollars to come to help children to eat they don't have much in the orphanage one ball and a pair of skipping ropes The happiest part of the day is definitely lunch, prepared by the volunteers. Cabbage and rice. It sounds simple, but to these children, it would have been unattainable if they had not been embraced by Mrs. Kavira. Some children are completely withdrawn and do not communicate with others. They say it's because of the shock of the massacre. The fate of their parents is still unknown but they are trying to reach them by radio signals. More often than not, without success. Our government um, tell us he can help the children to go to school and they, he doesn't, they don't uh, pay fees. But after we see the government as joker, he do nothing. He say in the math and to be act this proposal, he don't do anything. Other cities in the region are not safe either. An example is neighboring Butembo, where we talk to the owner of a small private school. Most of the time in night, we are not safe in Butembo in, by night. You must close your door very well. You put a table on the door, you put things on the door to be sure that someone cannot enter in the house. Okay. There was some time young guys in the, in, the, in the quarter, in the city, they must uh, stay out in night with some panga, some steak, waiting for people with, who they'll come in night. And when you come in night in the, in the city, they have to ask you if they don't know who you are. Who are you? Where do you coming from? Where do you looking in our in our uh, in our street? Something like that. Because they are killing people for without reason. They can come in your village and shoot uh, some uh, bullet. And after they kill ten people, after killing people, they can take one chicken, two, uh, one uh, one bags of rice, and there they go. They didn't stay there. But they want people to be afraid of them and leave their area. In such chaos, refugees are often an additional burden to the city authorities. But they have to be accommodated somewhere. Aujourd'hui, je suis à Ben. Ben est aussi insécurisé. La ville est insécurisée. Il n'y a pas moyen pour 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 dire que nous sommes nous 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 avons la paix à faire dans la ville de Ben. C'est aussi des massacres. Tout de suite là, je n'ai pas de moyens pour avoir des logements à ma à Ben ni la, la, la restauration. Je passe encore à ma vie dans une milieu encore sécurisé. Je ne sais pas comment est-ce que la famille va vivre là-bas. In the endless sea of misfortune, those who failed to escape end up killed or captured. One of the lucky few, because she survived, is a young woman, mother of three children, Endiavo Katsuza. She lives in a two-room house made of wicker and mud, in which half of the space is occupied by crates for raising rabbits. <laughs> Mwache kushonea mtoto wangu ndani mutumbu. 
Njo sasa baka mwacha, njo vile sasa tuka, tukaenda, tukaenda nao. Sasa tulenda nao bakaenda na viko na nasanasa vengine kule mwishi. Sasa baliendaka na viko na nasanasa vengine. Basi njo tukaenda fika kule mparki na tumikue vengi sana. Sasa tukafika kule mparki, bakanja chinja vengine. Na vibana siri vyo vile tukabama mchele, tukaenda nasi madini. En tout cas, nous demandons l'assistance du niveau international. Que les États-Unis interviennent, sinon nous ne savons pas où aller. Nous sommes attaqués de tous côtés. Alors on ne sait pas où, où nous allons aboutir tout de suite là. Nous sommes en train de faire des rondes. We are afraid. Sometimes we are afraid. Because we don't know the tactic, we don't know the plan of the rivals. <laughs> Sometimes we can reach the town. Anytime. Yeah, we are afraid. We are afraid for the for the rivals. We finally decided to head to the Mai Mai militants. They are the people's army, protecting their own tribal area. They defend against intruders. I, I think, you know, uh, more, of, more of, uh, of young men are jobless. And the money, uh, the money is scattered. We don't have money uh, uh, here. We don't have job, but the young men uh, see to stay at home. Uh, uh, they don't have anything to do. Uh, the the good way is to go to to armies, to rebels. The leader of the group we are going to meet is Maganda's school friend. We pass through a thicket dominated by tall, mature palm trees. We come to a lake that represents a kind of border, although boundaries do not exist here in the true sense of the word. Here, we need to wait and gather all necessary information in order to continue our journey. Unfortunately, Maganda has been told that it's better we don't come because of the Islamist invasion. The lake at the edge of the jungle will be our last stop. My brother? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why there is no people? On the street. Oh. Uh, it's a problem for the, uh, the security. The situation is not safe, um, and uh, all of the person want to go to home to stay with their families. A da situacija bude još gora, sinoć sam na svoj WhatsApp broj dobio uznemirujuću video poruku. Poruku pokolja na ulici meni nepoznatog afričkog grada. A tu poruku poslao me čovjek do kojeg sam sjedio u autobusu iz Kampale do granice sa Kongom. On mi je najme htio prodati neke kongoanske minerale, zlato, mislim, totalna glupost i prijevara, naravno. Ali dao sam mu svoj broj jer... Zanimalo me šta će se događati, mislim, zanimala me njegova priča, zanimalo me dokle će on daleko ići u toj svojoj nameri da mi nešto uvali, da mi nešto proda. Međutim, on mi je sinoć, umjesto minerala, umjesto zlata, poslao tu odvratnu video poruku koju ću pokazati svojim prijatelju koji poznaje lokalne jezike jer zanima me gdje i kad se to u stvari dogodilo. Yo. 
Just like me, it left him speechless. Uh, it's easy for us to meet with a bandit than to meet with soldiers. If you meet soldiers in night, it's dangerous than to meet with bandits. Because you know that, yes, because you know that if you meet bandits, you can give them money or your phone. But if it's soldiers, no, they can kill you or beat you because you know that they are soldiers. They are afraid for you to tell people that they were soldiers who take your, your things. Uh, we don't know uh, the rebels exactly and we don't know the IDF exactly. We have uh, the loyalist soldiers who sometimes mischange it. They become rebels at the road. Yeah, and they pick money, he kidnap some, some persons, and they go with to the forest and to ask money, uh, to ask uh, something, to ask medicine, to ask everything. But, yeah, that is the challenge we have. The, our loyalist uh, soldiers some, sometimes is rebels also. It's changed. I am in Congo for the third time, and I wonder again what it is that draws me to this tormented country. Rich mines, a state of chaos, or simply exoticism. Beneath all this variegation lie unknown hopes and aspirations, but also horror. Congo awakens in me feelings of beauty and anger, serenity and nervousness. These feelings occur at the same time, and it's impossible to separate them. We have Ebola, we have Maimai, we have ADF. It's complicated. And you know what? Most of white people who are here, people, you know that this guy, if he's not foolish, he must be working with some bandit in U in in West. They know that if you come here, you you are not normal. Of you are you have some agenda which is not clear. This guy, what did he do here? Kidnappings are not a new business here. They happen all the time. Maganda, a 37-year-old, recalls similar scenes. We were together at the field. I see my mother was crying. Ah, ah, that it was the rebel want to, to violate my mother. After time, I see some person who are who had job to another field come to help my mother, and after the rebels go away. Yeah, I was a little, a little, little children. In this time, I have it. I'm stressed because I remember it every time. Yeah, for this station. Yeah. For Enziava, the horror in captivity ended with her being released to tell what she had experienced. It's just another strategy that terrorizes the population. In the end, they were right. And Ziava told her story. Tena tunenda fikishi le mamizigo apreka trejuru. Tena njofile tukenda karu uruma. Tukenda lete ingine mizigo na etuka ifikisha apreste tijuru. Tukifikisha kule madina. Njofile baba kasima mbu tukenda kata na makakao. Tukakwa na kata kule makakao. Mashamba, mashamba. Ukisha eneza saki isa. Njofile baka simaka base 
kwa nini siku zenu zimeisha huku inafanyia bote mnachinjiu ndio vile tukaenda kwa abatware sasa tunaenda kwa abatware wakanja chinja sasa wananja bapatia majina za waislamu nyie bote kule kwa abatware tuna bana kuitaka unalala bana kanyaka ku mikono na kumigulu na kukichwa kisha bana kata shingo bakisha kata shingo kisha bana kupasula wala bana kukata mo kidogo kidogo bakisha kata kata bakisha kata kata we mtu kidogo 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 bana kutupa kule kubashi trouble never comes alone in congo that is the rule the ebola epidemic hit north kivu and caused thousands of deaths before the international community managed to bring the matter under control hand washing and temperature measuring stations have been set up along the roads piero is one of the few survivors tracter ebola c'était à mangina et j'ai un grand frère ici c'est grâce à lui que j'ai contracté ebola bon dès le début ils ont mangé des des viandes provenant de la brousse des forêts alors c'est quand ils ont consommé qu'ils ont été contaminés alors comme c'est moi qui les gardais à l'hôpital et dès le début les gens prenaient ça comme une sorcellerie quoi comme c'est moi qui était encore avec lui à l'hôpital c'est après sa mort que nous avons connu que c'était Ebola quand les gens des ripostes sont venus l'examiner c'est à ce moment-là qu'ils m'ont aussi examiné et après mon examen ils m'ont informé aussi que j'étais contaminé how to overcome trouble simple start life a new a part ça il y a aussi ma femme les 21 jours que j'ai fait à l'isoloir j'étais seul personne ne pouvait venir me voir ma femme et mon garçon unique aussi a été contaminé à ma sortie comme et non pas cri j'ai rêvé de retrouver aussi des gens morts et jusque là j'ai déjà perdu trois personnes dans ma famille ma femme mon fils et le grand frère Ebola mortality is high in some places up to 90%. Ce que j'ai à dire la situation que nous traversons pour le moment c'est une situation chaotique d'autre part les adef d'autre part Ebola alors ça arrive un peu nous ne sommes pas à mesure de nous prendre en charge de de satisfaire à nos besoins alors si nous pouvons avoir de l'aide de la communauté internationale ça pourrait un peu nous fortifier encore davantage parce que payer même les loyers de la maison c'est un peu difficile trouver même à manger c'est difficile alors ma dire quand même nous prête grâce et c'est pourquoi Although Congo has the largest UN military mission in the world, blue helmets are not the most popular among the people. When they came here, what did they come to to do here? The UN told us that they come to help people and to stop for to stop the war. But they are here now it will come 20 years. But in 20 years you didn't give us peace. How do you think that in one year or five years you'll, you'll, you'll make peace now? It's the tourist. He come to the tourist. Uh, he come in Congo to eat only because we don't see the impact for our uh, for UN support. We don't see anything. We kill person. Uh, one meter is there. One meter is there.
we drive through the Viranga National Park, a militant hideout. Butembo looks like a village of a million people. No electricity, no sewage system. I could stand here on the street all day and every second would be different. Butembo is a game. Colourful scarves flutter around people's heads in the traffic jams of bicycles and motorcycles. The main gathering place on Sundays is the cathedral. The church is powerful here and people are attached to it. Yet, unlike in Europe, in Congo, services are full of song and dance. We're back in the school run by Kavuliva. I find out that mostly only reading, writing and arithmetic are taught here, and the only teaching aid is a blackboard and an old notebook used by the lecturers. Déjà, ça payait même quelque chose. Il y a ceux qui peuvent donner quelque chose. Il y a ceux qui nous amènent même la nourriture. Encore une les taxes ça très cher. Nous manquons comment gérer maintenant les enseignants concernant cela. Actuellement, vos enseignants touchent combien comme salaire Ils ont des salaires de combien Actuellement, nous les donnons 20 dollars le mois. The walls of the classrooms are made of planks and the floors of packed earth. Although tuition is cheap, as many as half of the hundred or so children cannot afford it, so they borrow. That is, pay when they can. Et ce qui concerne la bibliothèque, nous on avait volé nos livres. C'était le jour de la détente de Noël. Nous étions arrivés ici quand on a déjà démoli notre bureau. On avait porté tous les livres. Maintenant, nous sommes en train de faire les recherches pour trouver les matières aux enfants. Ça sera mieux de trouver encore. Celui qui peut nous aider avec des livres. Parce que il y a le moment où l'UNICEF nous aide avec les livres, mais actuellement on nous dit que le livre n'est pas encore n'est pas encore être disponible pour nous donner des livres. Mais ça sera mieux de trouver celui qui peut nous aider à, à trouver quelques livres pour enseigner les enfants. In Butembo, I have another opportunity to meet the rebels. Cavoliva, who knows the local situation, will help me out. Despite very little chance, a mutual acquaintance, who is also a friar, will try to contact General Casareca. He says it won't be difficult because they come from his people and defend the territory around Butembo. And the general said, OK, you can come, uh, I'm waiting for them on Sunday. So the general said The general said that. Now. And now he said that he knows that we'll go there on Sunday. Ah. Yes. So this was the general? It was the general. The, uh, we think that uh, now we say we can go on Sunday. We are a bit afraid, but it could be. We are safe. <laughs> Thank you. 
I realise that my previous trips to the Congo were just scratching the surface. It is only now that I enter its depths. The day before departure, Cavalliva says we can't reach the rebels without gifts. So we decide to buy a bottle of whiskey and five pairs of rubber boots. Logically, they need both in the tropics. Because you know those people, they, they need my present. You cannot go there without present. It's important to go with there with a present. And from this present, it will be a, an opportunity for us to talk easily with them. Yes. Sunday, early morning. We pack our things on a motorcycle to get ready to go to the jungle. Members of the local basketball team are on their way to training and greet us and wish us a pleasant trip. We ride on goat trails and negotiate around potholes. The view reaches over green hills covered with tropical vegetation. Occasionally, we pass through a village. A group of armed boys greets us in rebel-held territory. They are dressed in colorful sports jerseys, military pants, and rubber boots. Most of them carry a machete in their hand, and a few have an old rifle. We offer them a box of cigarettes, and they let us go. They were told we were coming. The territory controlled by the rebels acts as a small self-governing community. Taxes are collected, justice is done, and civilians live among the armed militia. Kinyatsi looks like any other settlement in the Congo. Planks are arranged around the earthen plain, and on the nearby slopes, between palm trees, there are houses made of mud, and reeds. The only difference is that here, every other resident carries a Kalashnikov. Because now we've become like a friend. Yes. Yes. That's what we said. Yes. So next year. We were allowed to talk to the general, but without filming. Still, we secretly managed to record one shot. All five officers are dressed as civilians, but carry rifles. They talk about their fight against intruders in Congo. In the village in front of the houses, soldiers sit and drink beer. They are the Mai Mai, or translated, water, water. They believe in the power of consecrated water. A bullet intended for them cannot injure because it turns to water. They act like boys carrying a rifle instead of a basketball. Do they truly fight for what they say? I don't feel any fear next to them. They appear harmless. I wonder if that obsolete weapon works at all. One of them, who introduces himself as Muhando, talks about the fight. <laughs> In the eyes of these boys, I see drowsiness and bloody capillaries. It is impossible that their efforts are financed solely from the agriculture of local peasants. I became convinced of this 
soon after a short conversation with the officers. I was offered gold. Lots of gold. They ask if I want to carry it across the border. They have mines nearby that they exploit. Some are just holes in the ground. Others are much more complex. I try to talk to the other soldiers. The sky turns overcast, and it's time to return. The road to the main road is long. A friendly match against Lubero is being played in the village of Kimbulu, only 20 kilometers from the rebels. People are jumping, cheering for their club. The guards are pushing them with long beating sticks. They think of me as a talent hunter and give me the best place next to the team bench. I'm watching the game. The locals are watching me. I'm weird to them. I'm all dirty and wet because of the rain in the hills. Music can be heard in the background. I feel people dancing. These are the relatives of those boys in the hills.